and welcome back to the channel this is thomas goes nostalgic and on this episode we're opening our plunderlings fawn flute and on our previous episode i opened up a whole bunch of plunderlings this is probably one of my favorite toy lines and i would argue one of the best independent toy lines out there so i opened up a whole bunch of those figures and there's some new ones on the way but i love these guys they have so much personality so much character they're just super cute and they can really go on any display. So this Fawn Flute Plunderling is a little different. He's a tad bit taller. He still comes with some great accessories, the extra heads, extra hands. The packaging is almost the same. So you can see this really nice illustration on the back. Meanwhile, the original Plunderlings have more of a product shot. And you can see the difference at the bottom where the Plunderlings have the feet, the Fawn Flute has the hooves. So we're gonna get this character out of the box and check him out. And the fawn flute is consistent with other plunderlings. If you wanted to put those ears on the box, this one comes with some ears and horns, if you did want to keep the box. Okay, and here is the fawn flute plunderlings. And there's some slight differences between the fawn and the standard plunderlings. The fawn is slightly taller, and it does have some de design differences as well. So I'll just compare and contrast with the different character I have. This is Nomad Tough. I love when you have the different colors plunderlings next to each other they look so cool but you can see the differences in the ears the fawn has more of those doe or fawn ears and the horns and then instead of those clawed feet they have those hooves and then here's just a hatchling to see the size comparison there and looking at some of the design it has the same cute plunderling face that we've come to know and love and it has those great big black eyes that the light reflects off really nicely those horns and ears are specific to the fawn love those gold earrings and the shade of green here and you'll see some variations in the green on the knees and the elbow. So just a little darker shading. I think it's a really nice design choice, keeping the figure flat and simple. And I do love that. And it looks like he has a little bit of a booty. I don't think the other plunderlings do because they're all wearing pants. But I think this might be the first one. So one of the big differences between the fawn and the normal plunderlings are these hooved or hooved feet. They have some nice detail with the lines going down. Nice color brown that differentiates from the green. So let's look at some of the articulation. And the head has some nice rotation, can go all the way around. He can look up a very tiny bit and look down at his chin to his chest. Not too bad. He has a little bit of an ab crunch and can lean back. Not too much. Then he has the swivel and the hinge at the shoulder and a single jointed elbow as well. So the hands are a little different. So these open hands have a horizontal hinge, which is different from the grippy hands, which I'll show in a little bit. But that's an interesting design choice. Um, it's nice to have a difference when you're getting the, the extra hands. Um, he does have a little bit of a thigh cut. So if you want to move that, you could. He has double jointed knees. Everything moves fairly well. The packaging does say you might have to heat things up, but I'm not having too many problems with this guy. And then he does have a hinge at the ankle and a little bit of a rocker, not too much, but don't think that'll be a problem. We can get him in some nice poses. And would you look at that on the first shot? I got him to stand on one foot. How awesome. And now let's check out some of this Fawn's accessories. We do get a set of grippy hands, and these particular hands come with the vertical hinge, which is nice if the character is going to be holding any weapons or accessories, just makes for cooler poses. So that's always nice when that is included. We have this extra face sculpt, love those big black eyes. And this one is the gritted teeth smile, so kind of has that mischievous look on their face, pretty cool. Then you get this wide open mouth happy smile, which is always nice to have multiple expressions to put with your figures. Then you get the sword, which has a really cool design and awesome metallic finish with the silver on the blade and the gold on the handle. That looks pretty neat. And of course, every fawn needs their flute. This has some nice gold metallic paint. Not much other detail, but it looks great. And all of their parts change pretty nice. There's no fuss with them. So I already put the grippy hands on and removed the head. And let's try them out with a different expression and everything pops on pretty nice as i said so pretty cool got that nice big happy face on 
So I have the Fawn posed with the giant sword. Now I don't think these characters are like warriors or anything. I think they just like to play fights. So I think I heard one of the creators say that they're really not like uh, violent characters. They're just more mischievous. So I always thought that was pretty cool. And since I realized I can get this character posed on one foot, I got him posed with the flute and I switched the closed mouth expression back on. And I could just picture this character frolicking through the woods playing some music. So I love this font. And in hindsight, I probably should have built a bigger display because I have some more of these on the way, but they truly look great together. I love all the different variations in size and in color. I mean, these really pop and stand out on the shelf. I kind of look at them as like a one-to-one -one scale figure if you just want to carry them around, keep them in your pocket, or just take them on your travels and take some photos. These look really cool. And that does it for this unboxing, folks. If you like this content, hit like, hit subscribe, and ring that bell so you get notifications of when I post my next episode. Until then, we'll catch you next time.